In this video, let's darken some eyebrows. Now, when do you might want to darken the eyebrows? Suppose you capture the image of your subject from a particular angle where the eyebrows are not much visible. Or maybe you used a flash dead straight and it completely blows out the eyebrows. Maybe the color of the eyebrow is too bright. Or maybe the subject doesn't have much hairs on the eyebrow. So whatever the reason is, we are going to darken the eyebrows and we are going to use two techniques in this tutorial. And both of the techniques are quite interlinked and we are going to have fun. So without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? So here we are in Photoshop and in the first example as you can see, we obviously have to darken the eyebrows because it's taken from such an angle where the eyebrow is not much visible. Also there's too much light and we have to darken the eyebrows. The easiest and the quickest method is to create an adjustment layer. Okay, create any adjustment layer doesn't really matter. Let's create levels and change the blend mode to multiply. Now, as you can see, it has been darkened, but along with it, everything has been darkened. So we need to create a mask in which the effect just applies to that eyebrow. So there's already a mask. If you create an adjustment layer, it comes with a mask free. So we need to invert the mask, press Control I, Command I if you're using a Mac. This makes the mask completely black. And now we need to take a brush Make sure white is the foreground color. If black is the foreground color and white is the background color, press X to toggle between them. And then let's zoom in and paint over the eyebrows gently. You can always decrease the flow if you want to. It's just like the opacity, but it's a little different. And paint over the eyebrow. There you go. Let's zoom out a little bit. There you go. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of skin burn kind of thing happening here. Why? Because the darkening is also, along with the hair, is also being applied on the skin. So to remove the darkening from the skin, what we can do, we can go ahead and go to blend if options, right click on this levels adjustment layer, whatever adjustment layer your image has, go to blending options and take the slider off the underlying layer from the right. Because we want to delete those areas which has the skin, which are bright. And the skin is on which layer? The underlying layer, not this layer, okay? So drag the slide from the left. There you go. Now this is okay. Press and hold Alter Option. Click on the slider to make the transition smoother. There you go. Take it a little bit to the right. There you go. Now this is much more natural. So let, let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. So much more darker. You can always go ahead and decrease the opacity if you want to. There you go. Now it's doing a much better job. Now this is one of the ways. Now you might say, some of you might say, let's turn this off. Some of you might say, why not let's copy this layer and turn this into multiply and then have the same mask over here. This will have the same result. But here's the thing. You are creating two images here. Number one, you're creating two images. This increases the file size. Okay. Number two, if you want to make any changes to this, suppose you added brightness contrast or did a little bit of liquify and stuff like that. What's going to happen is that you also will have to make changes in this. And again, you might have to create this because the changes you make in this is not going to be replicated in this one. So that's why I create an, created an adjustment layer because adjustment layer acts as a virtual copy of the underlying layer. So if you make some changes in the underlying layer, the virtual copy of the adjustment layer also makes those changes. Let's have a look at, at the eyebrow. If I increase the opacity, as you can see, there's a little bit of color change, right? So if you want to avoid color change and if you have more time, what you can do instead of going over the multiply route, you can change it back to normal, create a levels adjustment layer as we already did, let the blending mode and everything, blend ifs remain as it is, change it to normal, normal, there you go. And now let's take the middle slider to the right and make it darker. Now too, the colors are changing, the colors are shifting, but wait, change the blend mode to luminosity, watch, watch, the colors are not changing. If you have time, do this. See, watch, the color is still black and it's much more natural. If you have time, go for it. But sometimes this doesn't work. Let me show you when. So let me load up the second example and here it is. So have a look. She has very, very light eyebrows and let us use the second method. What was the second method? Add an adjustment layer, levels, 
and take the slider to the right, middle slider to the right. This makes things darker. And then control I, invert the mask. Oops, control I, and then select the brush tool. And with white as the foreground color, let's paint on the eyebrows. So let's make the brush a little bigger. To make the brush bigger or smaller, all you can do is press and hold Alter Option, drag, drag it to the right to make it bigger, drag it to the left to make it smaller, drag it upwards to make it soft, drag it downwards to make it hard. All right, so let's paint a little bit. Now that's too much. You can always decrease the flow. Maybe to 10 is fine. There you go. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. Now change the blend mode to luminosity, right? Now as you can see, the luminosity is turning the eyebrow a little bit black and white-ish and it's, there's a shift in color. In that example, luminosity worked pretty amazingly because she had black eyebrows and also it worked pretty good. Sometimes it's gonna work good and sometimes it's not. And the thing is, the amusing part is, is that you're not gonna know when. So you have to try both the methods and that's kind of the way that you have to go over with it. But it's just one step. All you have to do, change it back to multiply. Go to the property, select this, go to the properties and bring it back to one. Now it looks much more natural with the multiply in this case. So it's going to depend on case to case, image to image. So that's pretty much it for this video. Also, before I end, let's just decrease the opacity just a little bit. There you go. Let's look at the before, look at the after. It's much more better. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, and if this video helped, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. If you have not yet watched the video on how to trim eyebrows, go ahead and check it out right here. Because these two are interlinked on eyebrow retouching specifically. So without any further... Okay, let's end the video. Bye. Take care. Peace.